the spread between the best performing sector and the worst performing sector was over 40 percent. That had to say something. So maybe the collapse of that and that trade that uh, everybody's talking about is going to start to take hold. We bought some of those names this week. We certainly bought Tesla on Wednesday, United Health on Wednesday, AbbVie on Wednesday. So a lot of those names have made it into our portfolio. But that doesn't mean you have to sell what's working. Mm -hmm. Don't do that because that's right. a big mistake. So essentially put new money to work. Put new money to work. If, if you have something that's been in your portfolio that's still not working and the fundamentals have changed for that company, don't hold on and pray for it. Just get out of it. That's the big question. A lot of folks don't know when the fundamentals have changed. So let's just say you were relatively new to the market. Like, let's say you came in three years ago. The first year and a half, you killed it. You're not even sure why. You bought <laughs> stocks, they went up. Good. Uh, you know, everyone on, on social media says stocks only go up. Good. We learned the hard way that they don't only go up. And so, you know, what you just look at the earnings trends and something real quick that you can look at and say, okay, something's not right with this. Uh, the first thing that I look at, you, you got to look at the top line versus the bottom line. Mm -hmm. If the top line is growing and the bottom line isn't, that tells you something maybe is running right. amiss there. They're focused too much on the top, on the on the top line. A lot of companies have kind of changed that mindset. They've gotten kind of religion this year. A company like Salesforce has gotten religion. Name we're going to buy on the close today. They're taking the Mark Zuckerberg playbook. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And if you can't even do the fundamental work, start to look at some of the biggest mutual funds out there. Look at what they own. They're buying some of these companies for a reason. It's so interesting you said that because I said that whole meta move is the maturation of Mark Zuckerberg. I still think he's going to spend a gazillion dollars on, on the metaverse, but he won't do it every quarter. At least he got the memo, you know, right, and, right. and he got it right. What do you think about this market, though? Are you buying it uh, that, that, you know, soft landing maybe? Uh, this is this is a perfect opportunity. That's kind of the cloud that's over us all the time. You know, the 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 the, the Fed, uh, you know, they, they go off of this, you know, playbook that was written 50, 60 years ago, and that's a problem. You know, they're probably going to push it one more time this year. I think they're done. I think the market's going to tell them that. Uh, but I'm in. So I, you're confident. You, you sound really optimistic. I like, am. Uh, yeah. You have an emotional shift, and that emotion is shifting from fear to greed. Never underestimate investor greed. 4% money markets aren't going to cut it when stocks are doing what they're doing right now. And we broke out above that 4,200 level. If we start living there, people are going to want to get it.